Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do for wound care is for, uh, to treat abrasions, okay? So, um, so if we have an abrasion on the arm or the leg, um, the, one of the products that we can use is something uh, put out by Kramer Corporation, it's called Cinder Suds. And with this, uh, we wanna make sure that we shake it really good. I'm gonna have you hold your arm out here, Bob. And then we can just apply this to the area. And the nice thing with this one is uh, this one will lift the dirt and debris from the uh, minor wo uh, wounds. And it also um, will clean the area uh, without using uh, water. So again, so this, as this lifts it out, um, we can later use um, our gauze or something sterile or non-sterile gauze um, to take that out. And then uh, treat it other methods. Another method that we're gonna, we're gonna show you is uh, uh, we're gonna need some uh, saline Okay, uh, please use saline, don't use uh, hydrogen peroxide. So we would pour the uh, saline uh, over the area to uh, sterilize it, clean it out. Uh, and uh, we also wanna make sure when we do that that we have our gauze, okay? So our gauze, are gonna, uh, collect the excess saline. Uh, you can also do this over uh, uh, a towel or uh, ground, so to collect your saline. Once, uh, once that saline is in there, you want to take your gauze and you can wipe the area. Again, trying to get with the gauze, try to get out any materials, foreign bodies that might be in there. It could be grass. It could be. Uh, stones or pebbles that, that got stuck uh, from the abrasion, okay? Uh, once you have, have that done, you want to apply the uh, antibiotic ointment. Uh, you can do this in a couple different methods. You can either use a cotton tip applicator. Uh, you never wanna um, put the ointment uh, directly to the wound because then you just contaminated the, the bottle. Okay, so there's two methods that you can use. Uh, you can either apply the, the ointment to a uh, cotton tip applicator or a uh, blade. Again, use whatever you think that you need. The other thing that you can do, and again, you're, you're gonna need a, a bandage to cover the, the area. Again, it needs to be large enough to cover the area. So, and if you have to make your own, uh, that's fine. You can use uh, Telfa pads. Various sizes of pads to make your own bandage. But another technique that you can use if you, uh, you can apply the the ointment right here to the top of the sterile bandage, and then that's gonna go right over the wound. So again, make sure that the wound is covered. Uh, also, if you need to refer to a doctor to see someone else, uh, if you needed to apply some additional, if, if they happen to be going back into play or activity you still, and you wanted to put a little bit more protection on that, you can cover it with a, a elastic tape. Uh, instruct them to wash it, uh, the body part regularly, uh, and change the, the, the band-aids. Uh, you always want to make sure that you uh, dispose of all of your uh, items in the trash 
uh, or the biohazard areas that uh, you used. Okay. Another item that we have for uh, abrasions, and this is for uh, to help uh, prevent uh, abrasions to the to the elbows. Uh, you know, for football or various other sports, and this is um, put out by Mueller, and it's called Pro Strips, and this is for for elbows. And basically, they they are these uh, little three by six inch, uh, uh, almost like soft tape. Um, and like I said, uh, these go on the, the elbow. So on the if you look in the back, it's kind of perf has this back covering that you can uh, peel off. And then when you apply this, thank you. Let's go ahead and stand up, Barbin. Okay, go ahead and turn around. So with this one, the intent of this one is to, uh, they happen to be playing on turf and, or someone has uh, a previous injuries or red spots, then uh, this tape is one method that you can use to help um, treat it or, or to help prevent it um, at some of your uh, football games or other events where you know they're sliding on their, their elbows. Okay, and, then, and that is it for our abrasions.